Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Saturday, August 14th, 2021. Let's talk about the championship fight at 118 pounds. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I'm going to suggest a hedge here. We're just taking what the casino is giving us. First, a few observations. I know Rigondeau is a great defensive fighter, but he's fought most of his career at 122 pounds. His recent fight against Salis at age 39, he lost weight to fight at 118 pounds. Now, I'm someone who hates when fighters older fighters drop weight classes. What I've found is that as you lose weight late in your career, your punch resistance drops. In fact, in that Solis fight, Rigondo, who's a poker player, right, doesn't really have a lot of changes of facial expression, gets hit and hurt in the very first round. I think he's vulnerable. He's fighting a hellacious puncher, Casimiro. Understand, this is different than the Nito Denier fight. Denier is more one-handed than Casimiro. Denier is a great left hook, but Denier doesn't have the right hand that Casimiro has. Salis is different than Casimiro, right? That fight, Rigondeau goes the distance, wins. But understand, Solis allows a pocket to form. Solis is standing right in front of Rigondeau. It's a chess match. The pocket is the chessboard. Casimiro is unorthodox. He's throwing home run punches. He's moving around the pocket. Right? Wherever he can hit you, that's where he tries to hit you. Some of his punches hit the side of your head. I don't think a highly technical Rigondeau is going to be prepared for the unorthodoxy of Casimiro. Casimiro, 32-year-old, is also high energy. He's going to force 40-year-old Rigondeau to fight. And let's be blunt. I know the boxing community has given Rigondeau a pass, but Rigondeau quit against Lomachenko. This is a proud guy who, if he's overwhelmed, if he cannot handle your volume and your intensity, he'll find a way out like Sonny Liston did against Ali, like Oscar De La Hoya did against Manny Pacquiao. So I think this fight is going to end before the midway point of the 10th round. That's what an under nine and a half gives you. And the casino is giving you better than even money odds, right? You're getting a plus 115. Understand too, because of the odds in this fight, you have an excellent hedge. Believe it or not, the casino is offering you a plus 165 on the underdog, the 40-year-old, Rigondeau, right, simply to win. So the hedge I like, because if either happens, you make a, prog a profit. The hedge I like is the under nine and a half rounds at plus 115, hedged with the underdog, Rigondeau, simply to win at plus 165. Let me be blunt here. This is a betting strategy play. I expect the younger man to win the fight. It's because I expect a firefight and because I know the younger man, Casimiro, leaves himself open for counters. And it's because I know Rigondeau is pinpoint with that straight left counter, right, that I feel the fight's going to end before the midway point of the 10th round. 
right? So I get the younger man for the first nine and a half rounds. But I also get Rigondeau for the first nine and a half rounds on one part of the hedge, right? The under nine and a half, whoever wins. Before the midway point of the 10th round, I win. And of course, I have a chance at winning both halves of the play if Rigondeau finds a way to simply win the fight. But I need for you to understand the risk involved, and it's substantial. If this fight makes it past the halfway point of the 10th round, and if the favorite wins the fight, Casimiro, by decision or by late stoppage, you lose it all. That's how I see it. I know Rigondeau is a sharp southpaw. I'm just telling you that Casimiro is going to force him out of his defensive shell. Rigondeau is going to open up. Both guys will be vulnerable to getting hit with bombs. Right? I am expecting a stoppage. But of course, I'm not going to cry if Rigondeau wins the fight and I collect on that half of a hedge. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. The under nine and a half rounds at a plus 115 hedged with Rigondeau simply to win at a plus 165. That's the play I like. Tell us the play you like in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.